Hello, uh, this is a YouTube tutorial uh, by Robert Bobby One Two Videos, and this is just the basics of how to get an aircraft uh, installed on your flight sim and add on aircraft. So it can be whatever you want. It can be you know seven three seven or seven four seven eight three nineteen etc. So this is just a basic tutorial on how to download, uh, compile, and install aircraft successfully, so that you can do things with these aircraft, such as you know fly them using autopilot and so on. So for a start. Uh, I'm going to, for this tutorial, I'm going to uh, use all uh, aircraft are going to be from um, utilising avsim.com so, which is a fantastic website for any download that you want. So, for a start, um, well, let's get started. So, I'm just going to uh, go down here. I've already got my internet uh, window open, so I'll just maximise that. And here we have www.avsim.com so I don't know if you want to follow this tutorial just as a guideline on how to uh, get this working but you go up to file library right here and click that and now first of all I would download the model for the aircraft so to do that the best way I like to do it is this uh, drop down menu here and go to flight simulator 2004 original aircraft and select that now for this example I'm going to try and download something like a British Airways Airbus A319 so you will just take that in just now. There we go, British Airways A319. Now search. Now I've done this already, but, um, and I've chosen this first example here, which is made by IFDG Simulations. It's a fantastic aircraft. So uh, what you would do is you would click download. It would take you to this screen. And you would then wait um, until the download uh, window came up. Now, one thing I would like to note here is I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox as my browser. So if you're using uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer, it may look a little different. For example, I have this. Um, at last, for, when I'm uh, saving my files, whereas with Microsoft Internet Explorer, it might look a little bit different. But what you do with Microsoft Internet Explorer is you just save as and save where you want. So I've already downloaded it, so you would down, so you would do that. So I'll minimise that. And now, if you obviously if you're in Firefox, you would go to Downloads, which is usually in my documents, and I've got it already down the bottom here. And here it is. IFDG A319 etc. Now if you have this um, all you do is you right click and then go up to extract files and click on that and then just wait for the window to open OK and you just see it's working on it just now and here it has, here's it popped up down here. Now if you have downloaded this file and you might not, I'm using WinRAR which is a program, WinRAR archive you can see it down here, if you don't have that don't worry about it um, if you have another thing which looks like a folder with a zip on it which looks like one of these but it's got a zip down it, all you do is just double click it and then you select extract all and it'll get you the same thing so here's your uh, IFDG A319 open it up and then there's an an another folder inside here which has your model, your panel, your sound and your texture. They are basically the four essential things for your aircraft when you want to fly and flight sim. So we'll come back to that in a minute. But I would like to note that if you look at these panel and sound uh, folders here, let's open the panel, you can see that there's only one file here and even at that it's one kilobyte. This means that there will be no fancy panel that you would you know, see in a real aircraft. If you were to say go into a real Airbus A319 you wouldn't see a panel the panel, it would be the very basic default flight simulator panel. So you don't want to you don't want to do that. Um, and the same goes for the sound. So as you can see, one kilobyte in one file. So therefore, to get the aircraft looking and sounding like a proper Airbus A319 when you're in the simulator, you have to download uh, add-on sounds or an add-on panel. So I've already done that, but I'll show you what I did. So I'll just minimise this and bring back AFSIM. We'll go back, and I will now delete that. And I'll just go for the uh, A3 A319 panel. Now I want to stress again that when you're doing that, make sure you click on the drop down menu and scroll down to Flight Simulator 2004 Panels, right? so select that and type in A319 
there you go and search so there we go and you have all sections and you can choose whatever one you want but I'm, I've already selected one just for the easiness of the uh, uh, of the of this demonstration video and it's this one here which is the one two third one down I think but it says FS2004 A319 A320 panel configured by whatever that says so there you go and it's freeware and again you just download that in the same way that, that you just downloaded your uh, <coughs> that you, you just downloaded your model so they were just going to minimize this again and bring back up uh, here and there is your panel FS1819 slash 20 panel so I'm just going to extract files OK and there's your panel now before I start working in any of these I'm just going to download everything so we'll go back to AvSim and we're now going to download FS2004 sounds OK so do that now it depends how realistic you want your aircraft to be in the sim. If you're going for realism, then you would uh, research what type of engines the aircraft you have downloaded uses. So, for example, I've checked with these British. Uh, I've not. I'm not um, really going by the realism here. Um, but for example, say if you were to check the because uh, the aircraft and it used uh, CFM five engines, then you would come in here and type in CFM. 5.6, sorry, CFM 5.6 slash 5, and then search. As it is with this British Airways aircraft, I think it utilises Rolls-Royce, so therefore it's not that realistic, but just for the, the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a CM 56 slash 5. Now, you scroll down until you find the engine's uh, file here, and it's called Airbus A320 family blah 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 it's I think it is the one two three four fifth item down and I found this and I, I think it's really good uh, file so you would just do the same and download but as, as I've said I've already done that so